come on. Sasha for NetworkNews.com. Over here at the IDF 2011, and we just stumbled upon a new generation of the Interclassmate PC. That's, uh, we already saw a new convertible uh, during Computex in, in June, but this one is, again, it's all, actually it's also called iBuddy. Yeah. You know what I kind of like? It's this little flexible handle here so that you can carry it around. Um, um, let's take a quick look around it. it first of all, it's very rugged. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that I could drop it, but I did it like uh, uh, during uh, yeah. during Seabit like two years ago and mm -hmm. broke one of the classic PCs. And Intel wasn't really liking this at all. But yeah. anyway, I'm pretty and it was the only one at the press conference. Exactly, yeah, it was the only on one that. at the press conference. <laughs> so let's take a quick look around this. Actually, I think it's already the fifth generation of the Classmate PC. Um, there's a VGA out over here, HDMI out, which also gives you a little hint about the platform it's using. It's a USB 2.0, there's an SD card reader, there's nothing on the front. Over here we have a little dock or bay for your stylus. And then we have jacks for um, the headset and microphones, another USB 2.0, a couple of status LEDs, an Ethernet connector, and a connector for your PSU. What I really like about this is, first of all, this movable camera that can be a front-facing camera and a rear camera. Let's just start the device. Okay. Here we go. And of course, it's a touch screen, a nice shaded keyboard, Huge trackpad, separated single mouse buttons. I really like that. This one comes uh, with seated trail. Has two gigabyte. I think it's a 1.5 gigahertz version. Let's let's let's, let's, let's do a quick check of this. Um, that's Windows 7, obviously. Okay, a 1.6. Uh, CH12, that's the N2600, so of course this is a mobile version. 2 gigabytes of RAM and has a 320 gigabyte hard disk drive. Um, the resolution seems to be 1024 by 600. Mm -hmm. Let's just double check it. Yeah, oh no, actually it's 1366 by 768, so that's, oh, really, that's really cool. Um, it's a multi touch capacitive touch screen, I would guess. Let's start paying to double check this. Okay, where's paint? There's no paint on here. Accessories, accessories. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So let's see how many touch points we have. Actually, you know what? Oh, it seems to be a single touch. But the, oh, there's um, only one touch point right now over here. The pen is even an active, active digitizer. That should be well. an active digitizer, should right? Nice let's, let's double check this. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You can see that? Yeah. Oh wow, this is super accurate. So that works. Anyways, a really nice device. You know, if I would have kids, they would definitely get a classic PC, I tell you that, because uh, our Intel is also working with a lot of software developers to have very unique applications for this platform that they can use, you know, when they're talking about any kind of science classes. Um, that's a really cool platform, a really cool device. That's the new, actually it's called iBuddy right now, the newest generation of the Intel Classmate PC over here at IDF 2011. I'm Sasha for NetworkNews.com. Thanks for watching.